listen, man, when I was coming up, everybody had black books. You know what I'm saying? We would gather in the park at a bench somewhere, and we would all draw on each other's black books. I was part of the culture. And MCs, they had their rhyme books. You know what I'm saying? It was like rolling with a homie when you had that shit. That was your boy, and now they got Kindles and iPhones. The fuck is that? So when I started in hip hop, I was rapping for graffiti art, creating in the medium, considered illegal and disobedient. Was all I really needed to hear. I was hooked on the black book culture. The revolution seemed clear, and in these pages were the concepts that would change us. Come on, we were kids, but we were conscious of the hatred. The ink I bled on the page was to reflect the pain I saw. I gave it the best of my anger, and the book just took it all. Had a cardboard cover, loose wire bindings. Pages falling all out of the side, I can't find them. It's like these words, they have a mind of their own, and the ink on the page just somehow just captures the soul. But these days, these kids, it's like they ain't singing nothing. Unless it's 40 characters or less at the click of a button. So stop fronting, young world. Put down your Kindle, go pick up a pen and a pad. Find out what you're really into. When I finally picked up a mic and I decided to MC, I had a book full of one-liners, but it always seemed empty. I admit at first it was discouraging, cause I would listen to how my idols were writing and they would murder it. So I would do my little tracks, but no one heard the shit underground in literal terms. Dirty on cassette, the words I trapped between the lines of my loose sleeves represented the nights I spent artistically producing. But these days I've got piles of books, and each one's like a bible bleeding rhymes and hooks. And the nostalgia and the lyrics that I never erased suddenly becomes relevant in a different time and space. Space. They procrastinated the rate that I pay dues Lyrically, I'm hip-hop's answer to Jesus and skate shoes I'm on a quest for perfection Respect the cause effects for providing this lesson Any question? Any question?